strongly secularized government has taken over after an emergency. The internet has been so infested by cyber attacks that much of it has been closed down. A strong and charismatic Taoiseach has emerged, who, in the style of Emmanuel Macron, has fashioned a new party, which governs with the support of radical independence. The President of Ireland is Ivana Basik. Ruth Coppinger, Breed Smith, Mick Wallace and Richard Boyd Barrett are all in Cabinet. There has been a privatization of Religion Act, a Transgender Equality Act, and a prohibition of the Baptism Barrier Act. People of faith may practice their religion, but only in private. Schools, hospitals, and any services in the public realm have been secularized. Faith-based charities are permitted, but controlled by the Minister for Secular Affairs. Judges appointed to the bench and to the Supreme Court must prove their secular credentials. Some faith schools have been allowed to remain open, but only when funded by the parents and private donors so only the wealthy can afford such schools. Even so, the school curriculum is subjected to government inspection, and history lessons have to comply with correct government version. Historic Catholic Ireland is described as the Roman occupation. Individuals can practice their faith discreetly, but it is seldom a wise career move. The Oroctus Register for Secularism may monitor those seen going to Mass or Church, and for public servants, it is usually a bar to career advancement. Christians foregather and communicate with one another with extreme discretion. They may secretly carry a small symbol of a fish on their person, and when it is deemed safe to do so, they may reveal the fish symbol to one another. Some Christians, under the guise of being cigarette smokers, foregather in small groups, smoking or vaping to cover their tracks, to exchange information, same as that publications and prayer meetings. Because communications have been so reduced by the internet collapse, other means of messaging have to be devised. I hope you enjoyed my reading of Mary Kenny's Look Into Ireland's Dystopian Future, a chilling tale in which those with uteruses are given bodily autonomy, trans people are treated with dignity and respect, unbaptized children are allowed to go to school, and hospitals have all of their important decision making done by people who actually understand medicine. As always, I'm Hog, that's the dice there behind me, and remember, that your applause is the only way to counteract my daily chant of I don't believe in fairies.